Hey, what is up guys? Rage Butter here. Uh, so, getting back into another Gibbous video. I think this is part 8 now, if I'm not mistaken. So, kind of a lengthier game than I was expecting, but still enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are too. Uh, but anyway, let's get back into this. Boop! It's gonna be a thing. I'm just gonna boop every continue button I can. Um, yep, so last time we left off, we made it to the wonderful town of Transylvania. Or, well, not town, but I'm sure you guys are already used to my unfathomable stupidity, as I said before. Anyway, huh, who should we talk to first? What? what? Okay. Hmm. It's just for watching and being in awe of. Sucked in. Hi. No sei rus ma. No, ni ma la el ce palid e ma. Ma ești bine ma frățioare. Ni ma la el ce tras la față e ma săracu. Că zici că nu mânca nimic de trei zile. Tu lai Silvie. Da, cum ai ajuns aici ma? Da, de unde e? De unde e fiima? De de acu ești? Cu curat ai venit. Ni ma și umblă cu mâța aia după el. Pai! Ni la el ma zici că e de la circus. Mâță neagră, mă, umblă după el, gândești că-i câne. Bată-te, norocul să te bat. Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? Ce, mă, fete străine aici? Du-te, mă, de aici, mă. Auzi la el, fete-i trăbă. Tu la ai, doamne, dar păi tu vii aici de unde o înțărca dracu copchii să cați fete. Dar păi, voi n-aveți femeie acolo, mă, doamne, iartă-mă și nu mă bate. N-am mai văzut eu nicio muiere, mă, numai de ale noastre, de aici, de ale locului. Ok, any idea where I could look for her? Da, păi numai Dumnezeu bunuțu știe, dar păi eu de unde să știu, mă, copile? Da, păi vezi cum, ești cu Han, acolo așa, îi zice Hanul vieță, așa îi zice, și apoi mergi tu frumos acolo pe chișoarele tale, în adida și tăi frumos, și apoi întrebi tu acolo, no, că poate știu oamenii, poate nu știu. Îi vede tu când ajungi acolo, no, bine, mergi frumos cu mâța după tine, tu mai mâni la ei, mă, bă, bă, fainiz, mă, neam de neamul meu n-o văzut așa ceva. Thanks. Are you from around here? Da cum, mă? Da, da, din data cu ce suntem aici, mă, cu oile, da cum, mă? Da, păi de când mă știu eu, mă? Și apoi de când erau moșii mei, mă, tată meu, Vasilie, moșul Ioan, buna Varvara, Tata lui Moșu Solomonze și Ghibolu și apoi moșilor tăți, tăți, tăți de viacuri. Tăți pe aici, nu, păi cum? I see. Weird weather we're having, huh? Why, why are you still talking to him? Mă, tare duba și vreme, mă, mă, eu de când mă știu așa ceva n-am văzut. Apoi când plouă, când e soare, deci vine țarușcă mea așa jos. Când se supără sunt Ilie și apoi trânteaște o furtune de, de să cacă ciorile pe ele, mă, de frică, nu mai știi cum să te îmbrești. Doamne feri! Ca, ca așa ceva de când mă muca m-a făcut, eu n-am mai văzut. Ascultă tu la mine! All right, bye! No, bine, dragul tati, te-am țucat, mă, du-te, du-te, că te-l aștepta. Și apoi dacă nu te așteaptă, nu o las, că văd ei că vii. Du-te, că-mi ești drag, mă, cu mâța aia după tine, nimă la ei, mă, mă, bă, fainis, tu să nu-i de ochi. Du-te, dragă, merg cu Dumnezeu, te-am țucat, serus, serus! There's... That joke kind of just got... Go through the trash. Look, I am picking it up. That's just swell, buddy. You better believe it. I do. Fine. Good. I, I was hoping that joke was going to pay off, but no. I was, I was hoping I'd at least get an achievement. It's the only way I sat through it for so long. What a lovely place. Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. That's probably just customers waiting for their meals to arrive. It takes time to dice up the meat enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> I don't get the joke. Is that like a... Is that like a stereotype in Transylvania? I don't know enough about Transylvania for any of these jokes to be relevant. And I just have to say, good God, look at this guy. A dashing young fellow. Looks like freaking Green Arrow. Oh, what's that? A thick glove. As has often been the case, can't reach it. Kite, would you mind getting the thick glove? Actually, she probably needs to avoid. Let's talk to the innkeeper. Hi. Hello, foreigner. Greetings, stranger. My name's Kerwin, Buzz Kerwin. Rodika. And this is my husband, Istvan. 
Wait, did you say Carwan? Yes, I'm actually half Romanian myself. Tu lai doamne, ești? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, dear, and I don't like it one bit. What? Nothing. Never mind. <sighs> Why does everything have to be so mysterious and complicated? What was that about my name? Oh, it's just... Uh, how do you spell that? K-E-R-W-A-N. See? That doesn't sound like a local name. Not at all. Has it been altered in the last few generations? You know, I really have no idea. Wait, altered from, from what? Istvan, let it go. It's the gentleman's business. But Cor... Shush! Cor what? Enjoy your stay in scenic Transylvania, my friend. I'm looking for a girl. This is not that kind of video. <laughs> no, no, a particular girl. Her name is Peace. Is this some kind of uh, social commentary metaphor you're trying to pull? Pretty beautiful if it is. Uh, no, I mean it in the most literal way. Look, we have to be very skeptical to strangers around here. Especially foreigners. Don't ask, we just do. Yeah, it's true, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of themes of xenophobia in this game, I will have to be honest about that. Foreigner, stranger, no one ever seems to be welcoming anymore. I'm starting to think it's me. Oh, it's uh, not you. We have to... Istvan, you should stop talking now. No, no, by all no, means No, no, by all means, keep talking. You have a what? A very wise wife, who reminds me when I'm talking out of school. Oh, is the talking out of school. smooth operator. <laughs> How old are you, dude? <laughs> I'm still curious about your unwelcoming attitude. I mean, this is an inn, right? We are, um, we have to be skeptical toward foreigners. Have to? And I'm half Transylvanian. Half Transylvanian, huh? Okay, okay. Let's say you need to earn our trust. Hear that? Okay. How would one go about earning your trust then, hmm? Uh -oh. How would one go about earning your trust then? I am so sorry about that. If you guys heard that, that is, uh, that was my alarm for me to stop eating. I only eat, uh, within. Four hours of the day. Gesundheit. You said you're half Transylvanian. Zuika is our local drink. 60% alcohol. 60? And you expect me to ingest that? I can't trust a man unless he drinks with me. What century is this again? It's our tradition. So, we drink? Yes, well, like, fuck yeah. Hit me. Norok! There you go. Now, ask me anything. What, what happened to me? What, what, what? Good. I don't understand! Come back when you're sober, eh? <laughs> Wait. So I guess I have to find a- Talk to you guys later. Servus! So I have to figure out how to stay sober? Ah, so maybe I gotta get food from this guy. I hope I don't have to eat the trash. Hi there! <laughs> what? My name is Buzz. I'm happy for you, son. What? What? Okay. How do you like this inn? It's pretty good, considering it's the only one. That makes sense. So... Yes, what? Hmm, where was I? How should I know, son? What? Does that mean you're my dad? Uh, never mind. Daddy! Uh, nothing? 
All right then. What? Sorry. Sorry, I'm just being a little weird. All right. Bye. What? Bye. Self-involved gentleman. What in the Even. hell? He wasn't in here when we came in, was he? Yeah, hello. Do I know you? Please go away. My name's Buzz, and uh, I'm a tourist. My name is Vasile, and I'm the alpha male. I'm not bragging. I don't want it to sound confrontational. Just putting it out there so it's crystal clear. Okay, Vasile. I can respect that, I think. Have you seen a girl called Peace around? Not since I've been sitting here. And you can trust me. If there's anything I would have noticed, it would be a girl. Is she pretty? Never mind. I will ask him about his beard. Nice though. beard. Of course it's nice. It's only seen the inside of the best rated beard salons in the country. You have beard salons in Transylvania. Oh, cause we're Transylvanians and we should just let our facial hair grow out like animals, right? Bigot. Hey, I'm Romanian too. With that sad excuse of a five o'clock shadow? Please. Oh, brother. See you around. Okay, let's see if we can get Kitty get the glove. Yo, Kitty! I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there. But do it, uh, do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. I'm an ninja. Show off. <laughs> that was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Can we put the trash can we put the trash in the glove? That would just make more trash. What's your point? Can we talk to the Can we talk to her, I guess. Voluminous gentleman. Hey, 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 hey. Greetings, my skinny friend. Oh, my. Hey there. Good to meet someone friendly. <laughs> Have you been talking to these grams around here? Uh, don't judge them too harshly. That's standard foreigner procedure. Standard procedure? This must be a cultural barrier thing. I'm baffled. I am afraid it's not for me to explain. So, let's just leave it at that. So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about, Sonny? I don't trust this guy. Have you seen a foreign girl around here? Goes by the name of Peace. I uh, don't have that kind of information, friend. That's something you should ask of Istvan and Rodika, the innkeepers. Why is everyone except for you so unfriendly? I uh, don't have that kind of information, friend. Hm. So you do. My name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Luca, the coachman, at your service. The coachman. Oh, How's the coachman. the coach business going, Luca? It really depends on where you want to go. It's been several days now that we have no GPS signal. Strange times indeed. You need GPS for your coach? Well, again, it depends on where you want to go. Some places are very difficult to access, even to an experimented coachman like me. So, me and Rosie have to relay on technology, you know? But everything is so traditional around here. Ah, uh, don't let appearances fool you. We have some of the fastest internet in the world, friend. It just sort of went away locally, along with the GPS signal. I feel like I've heard that before, but maybe I'm wrong. just went away. You didn't look into it? Everyone who was good at computers moved away years ago. 
said Li. Tech support should be on its way. Unfortunately, with no GPS and the treacherous terrain, plus this weather, who knows when they'll arrive. What if I told you I'm tech support? Well, uh, you'd make Luca a very happy man. See, my love life. <sighs> yes? <sighs> Why am I about to pour my heart out to a stranger? I don't know. Because you know I'm trustworthy, yes. Because you know I'm trustworthy. You can see it in my eyes. Oh, look, my friend. See that beautiful waitress over there. Her name's Anna. The prettiest name in the world. Just listen to it. Anna. Anna. Uh, okay. Look is so in love with her. Uh, sorry, but what does this have to do with the GPS and internet being down? Well, this isn't the Middle Ages, Buzz. I can't just walk up and talk to her like some troglodyte. You can't? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. Not in this digital day and age. Oh, I can't rest until I see which way she swipes for me on garlic. Garlic? Is that some kind of dating app? The best there is in Transylvania. Luca, help me out with this Tsuika thing. No, 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 no. Thank you. Got to keep a clear head when steering the couch. <laughs> I meant, do you have any idea what I could do so it doesn't hit me like a freight train? Um, I remember reading about that on a forum recently. But my memory isn't what it used to be. Why does he talk so slow? If only the internet was working. So I gotta get the internet working. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. So I gotta get the internet working. Oh wait, there's a router in there, so... It'd be funny if it's just about resetting it. I mean, who knows? It might come in handy. It's like, hey, that's my fork, you son of a bitch. And welcome back, listeners, throughout Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was, um, let me see here. Hm. Oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was thinking that, but, uh, oh boy, what a stinker. Maybe we're better off not ever knowing, right? Right, well, never mind that, you know, that's the exception right here on Garlic Radio, cause we only play the top Transylvanian hits! Uh, uh, uh. uh, is that Count? It's your boy. Wait, no, it's your main man, Yanku, and we'll be spending the next hour or so together, so... Mm. So we gotta figure out... I wonder if that line... City Hall, maybe? Oh, that line. I'll just leave them to it. Cable. All I can do is follow it, I guess. Red gate. Okay, yeah, I guess that's not ominous. Stop right there, little chiclet. What's your business with the Corvins? Uh, are you talking to me, ma'am? Why, yes. Yes, I am, sweetheart. You are trying that door over there, and it's for me to decide who goes or doesn't go through it. Huh. 
I just need to go in to follow that cable there. I'm trying to restore the internet and GPS to the place, you know, doing some good. Oh, so you're with the people that come fiddle with the cables every once in a while? Exactly. Well, they all know the answer, so tell me this. How many pieces did Corvin's heart break into? Who's this Corvin guy you keep mentioning? Don't play dumb with me, Chicklet. Shoo now, shoo! I'm not really sure I understand what's going on here. You can't grasp the concept of password protected entry? Don't they have internet where you came from, Chicklet? I seem to have forgotten my password. Any suggestions on how to proceed? There's always the password recovery system, Chicklet. Oh, cool. How do I access that? Ah, Lord knows where he is right now. It's a he? Yes, that's my husband, Yuan. He could be anywhere right now, but he's probably hanging around the inn, like always. How do I recognize your husband? Big silly black hat and bigger and sillier white mustache. Oh, oh yep. Thanks. Can I go in now? As soon as you tell... Uh, I'll get... I feel like I'm being on a wild goose chase. I'm here about the password recovery. What? What's that? I forgot my username and password. You what? Uh, I mean, I, I forgot my password. Oh, all right. Well, do you have the letter? Letter? What letter? The Y. What? What? No, I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. The, the Y? What? Why are these All puzzles right, so fucking it stupid? And not only that, apparently it's messing with the GPS and internet in certain areas. I'm told the uh, Forum Maris is affected by this. Well, Forum Marisians are... The Y? Like, I don't... <sighs> Like, I have to have a physical letter Y? Like, what does that even mean? Like, these puzzles are just a little stupid, I'm not gonna lie. I can't drive this. Coachman has to be around, though. The Y? Like, what does that even mean? Let's go that way and see what's that way. Oh, slingshot. Oh, we can use that as letter Y. Hello, young man. What's up? Playing on my phone. Ugh. Do I know you? Just being friendly, that's all. Uh-huh. So, what are you playing? Call of Beauty 6. I thought shooters sucked on mobile. <sighs> Call of Beauty is not a first-person shooter. It's a survival game. Survival game? Really? Yeah, really. You role-play this supermodel, and every once in a while, you have to survive on no food before a show for <sighs> like three or four days. What the hell? That's terrible. Games have changed since your days, old man. Everything is realistic now. Disturbingly so. Yeah, that's pretty... That's nice pretty place, this town. Nothing ever happens here, and I can't even get data on my phone anymore. But yeah, great place. Well, if you looked up from that screen every once in a while, you'd see that it is. Oh, jeez, you're one of those, aren't you? We get it. You grew up hitting a ball against the wall, not glued to the screen. 
you were so much better off. Thanks for the insight. Bye. Well, uh, no, that's not really what I meant. I was a nerd just like you. Oh yeah, you're totally hip to geekdom and down with the youth, pups. Later. Uh-huh. Uh, this is annoying. That voice wasn't, like, great or anything. That slingshot of yours. Isn't it cooler and more realistic than a video game? I don't know, but it can realistically take your eye out. So which of these two is worse, you tell me? Well, if you put it that way... I made it way too deadly. The world's not ready for it. Right. That thing does not look deadly. It's only made from the toughest wood you'll find around these parts and a virtually unbreakable rubber band. And I've used industrial grade glue to put the thing together. Not only is it deadly, it's indestructible. Huh. I'll bet I can take it apart. Easy. <laughs> really, dude? You're on. What are we wagering? Just the satisfaction of being right and in the other guy's face, kid. <laughs> okay, then. It's on. Sweet. Later. Uh-huh. Ugh. I hate that voice acting. It's an allegedly indestructible slingshot. We'll see about that. No forking... Old man, huh? Uh, good evening. A good evening to you, young man. Such a pretty town for Maris. Yes, and an old and storied one, too. Oh, if these walls could speak. The birds, the deaths, the wars. Maybe it's better that they can't speak. Boy, what a sight, huh? Yes, yes, it is superb. The rolling hills with their scents of hay and white flowers. The gently grazing herds. Sometimes I wish they placed this bench the other way around. But, um, I guess this way you can admire the mural. Is there a story behind it? Yes, there is. But do you have the time to listen to it? Yes, I do. Now, legend has it that a long, long time ago, on top of a mountain overlooking four maris, a Solomonar, that's an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder and rain when, below, a terrifying balaur that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either, so they sent an innocent young shepherd girl by the name of Miwara and her dog Azor to beg for the Solomonar's assistance. Miwara and Azor's journey up the mountain was not without peril. See, the Solomonar had laid many traps and cunning magical obstacles to stop anyone from disturbing his ritual. But Miwara and Azor were smart and agile and resilient, so they made it to the mountain top and told of the dragon's attack. But the Solomonar was red with anger and could not see beyond the fact that a girl and her dog had conquered his defenses. And since they had proven to be smart and agile and resilient, he transformed Miwara and Azor into a black and a white cat, forever cursed to roam the hills and mountains without ever resting again. Then 
he did make his way down to Forum Maris and found it in smoldering ruins, and the masks all but defeated, making their last stand against the beast. He fought the dragon for three days and three nights, and finally crushed it down into the mountain, burying it in the bowels of the earth. Afterwards, he cried tears of remorse for foolishly cursing the shepherd girl and her dog, and erected a monastery in their remembrance. That castle above the town that everyone fears its steeple is all that remains of the monastery the Solomonar built ages and ages ago. It became corrupted, and some folks say that it's from the evil that the remains of the dragon still hold. I hear the masks are once again guarding the castle now that its rightful heir has returned. But who would risk going all the way there to see if it's true? Not many, dear. Not many. Wow, that was fascinating. I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. I'm still here to tell the story, but for how long? No one really knows or cares about it other than me and the masks themselves. Maybe once I'm gone, so it shall disappear into oblivion. Let's hope not. I'll be off now. Have a nice evening. You too, young man. Goodbye. All right. Well, a lot of story elements in this. And I think that this is a good place to cut it, ending with that really good story. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, like, subscribe, share, and bye-bye.